Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to see how to use a awk command to extract a column from a table in file name as well as a pipe. So let me open my terminal. Here we are going to create a file name for preparing a savings chart. So first I am going to explain using awk command in file name. So first let me create a file vi savings. So VI is the command used to create a text file in Linux terminal. Now here you need to press insert key to write text. So after I completed my text, I want to save this. So to do so, you need to press escape, then colon, W, Q, and exclamation. It will save the file. Now you can view the file using cat command. So now I am not bothered about this month. I just need the savings amount alone. So I will use awk command to extract only the second column. Awk. <coughs> Here you need to put the quotes and curly braces. So here I need uh, column two. So I am going to print only the column two, which is the dollar two is a positional parameter. It's generally in Unix. Wherever you use dollar two, it will just display the second column. Now the file name. This will be showing only this savings column. It's completed now. So now let me show an example with pipe. For that I am going to use this df-h. So this is a inbuilt command in Unix or Linux to show the mount point and their free space. You can see this mounted on. This is the mount point created by me. Or generally Unix will create this mount point and size used available so you just get the information about your hard disk now um, this is very clumsy i just need this last two columns this is that is sufficient for me to know the what are the free space and available space so for that you need to use df minus h and this is the pipe symbol arc here I am going to print only the last two columns which is 5th and 6th. So you already might have known how to do that. It is same as the above example. $5.6. Okay. Now see here again you got the output but it is unreadable. To make it readable let me use literals if we give this double quotes and a hyphen it will display hyphen here hyphen here and uh, you will be able to read see hyphen still it is not readable you can give space so now it is readable so this is just a literals and positional parameters Thank you guys.